Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm back with the Cards for Men design. And today I'm going to be sharing a card using this Picket Fence Studios stamp set called Part of the Pack. And this was sent to me by them. I was so lucky to receive some fun goodies from them that you'll be seeing soon. I'll get to share them with you. And I will put the links to their uh, online store in the description below and also at my blog. So in typical true Cards for Men style, I'm doing a nice clean and simple design today. This is a new stamp and it's quite large. So I'm using my Misty to help me get a good impression for the stamp, but I'm also just wiping lightly over the top of the stamp with an eraser just to um, condition it and help the ink to adhere evenly over the top. Now I'm going to be embossing this image, so I have prepped my cardstock with a powder tool and also using my Versamark, Versamark embossing ink. I did have to sort of flip the image around so you'll notice that it's not facing correctly but that's because I wanted to stamp only a portion of the image. I didn't want to stamp the whole image today because I'm actually going to be making a like a, a spotlight out of this uh, group of puppies. So I'm just using some white embossing powder. This is a slate grey cardstock so it's a nice dark grey cardstock and I will hit that with my heat tool. So the minute that I start to see the embossing powder melting is when I'm moving my heat tool to the next area. And then to make sure that I've got, because it's such a large image, to make sure that I've got the whole area embossed, I can just tip my cardstock on an angle and see if there's any areas that aren't sort of shiny. And if I do notice that any areas aren't completely embossed, I can just easily hit it again with my heat tool. Alright, so on dark cardstock, I do, I do like to use my Prismacolor pencils and I don't use any blending solutions such as Gamsol. I just like to add lots of light layers of pencil and come in with my shading and actually let the wax pencils blend themselves. They really do blend beautifully without any Gamsol and it does give you a slightly different look to that real smooth kind of blended look. And I thought I'd just be colouring in the one dog out of all this pack because um, this is for my nephew who has a rot wheeler, two rot wheelers I should say and I thought it'd be fun to colour just the image that looked like his rot wheeler whose name is Rosie and <laughs> she's a real cutie. So what you might have noticed is that I have a piece of scrap cardstock off to the side and it's the same color as the cardstock that I'm coloring on and I can actually test the colored pencil before I add it to my image just to make sure that I'm getting the color or the look of the color that I do want on that image because I'm not coloring it on white it is going to look different on any different cardstock that I use so once I'd done this, I knew this is the look I wanted, but I did want to add a sentiment. I thought about not adding a sentiment <laughs> and keeping it very clean and very, very simple. But um, initially, I've got the happy birthday sentiment, which is from a really cute set with a, like a girl blowing bubbles. It's another picket fence stamp set. And it says, happy birthday. And I'm kind of thinking um, about placement again. I probably should have worked this out before I started my um, card making because I didn't leave enough area down the bottom and I off stamped it, off stamped, stamped it incorrectly <laughs> and, it, and I hated it straight away. I just didn't like the way that it looked and I did color, do it in black as well which I wasn't real keen on. Uh, just didn't give the balance that I wanted on the image so I came in and added some black pencil to my dog thinking that might help balance it out. I did cut off the edge slightly to make the sentiment look a little bit better centered. That doesn't, that's not proper English. <laughs> centered better. That sounds a little bit better. And I just decided to, to add it with some ATG adhesive just directly to the front of the car and think about it. 
So what I often do if I do miss stamp a sentiment or I'm not happy with the placement or I'm not happy with something is I often actually come in and add a sentiment over top and pop it up or put it on different color cardstock and that tends to work well. But what I did differently today is I actually decided to add a speech bubble sentiment and I've added it in some bright red cardstock and I really like this so much better. I stamped out the love you sentiment it's actually from the part of the pack stamp set and to fix up sort of the base of my card and cover up the happy birthday sentiment all I did was add a piece of black cardstock directly to the front of the card and I like this much better and then I did add some fun foam to the back of my speech bubble and now I'm a happy girl I will list all the pencils and colors and everything that I used at my blog. You'll find the link in the description below. And if you like this video, please like it. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and come back and visit me again real soon. So till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.